Okay, this is the, um, yeah, the August 22nd uh, Finance Committee meeting for Danny Boone Area School District. Um, um, present at the meeting, um, we have Mr. Jerick, Mr. Dr. Cooper, Julia Olison, Ms. Bell, and, um, and Ms. Haynes. And uh, short, short agenda today, um, national competition reimbursements. I just wanted to go over what we've been getting for the national. Now, I know this is a new thing we did a couple years ago, but now it's back. It's back, yeah. Okay, so just to make you aware, this is more of a some guidance for what we're doing. Um, the national competitions, we have the TSA current, and we also brought on for the FBLA. Mm -hmm. So now there's two of them. Of course, there's going to probably be more as this word gets out. Mm -hmm. At this time with two, it's about $5,600 in reimbursements that I make right out of the general fund. For nationals, not for states? That's national. Okay. So the general fund, we're allowing some of these expenditures for this very specific particular group right. to be taken out of the entire community's taxpayer group. Yeah. Of funding. Right. So just kind of putting it where I'm thinking because it's it's not like it's the entire district. Mm -hmm. It's not, not there's only a specific group that's been there. Mm -hmm. All right. So when I did get the receipts in this time, I believe, like, I don't even know what to do with them this time. I've got alcohol on the receipts. I've got people eating, like, big pounds of crab cake, of, like, stuff you wouldn't normally eat and what I would never submit yeah. as a receipt for mm -hmm. a public entity be out there for any taxpayer to see yep. when I'm reimbursing. So there's also not a distinction between a parent that may have gone with most of the alcohol uh -huh. and the kids eat. I can see some of the receipts where there's a party of two at the table, so I know the two young ladies that were sharing the room. I can tell that's what they were eating yeah. based on my own knowledge and my own style. And then when the parents got involved, I can see the big meals come. Yes. Okay, so there's no distinction whatsoever. I have alcohol on these receipts. I have no retail receipts on some of them. Like, we are very specific. When you put a receipt wow. in the district, it has to be retail. But that's in any business, I presume, the reason when I was in other businesses, this is a standard rule. If you're expecting reimbursement, I need to see a retail receipt because I need to know what you're ordering. So, so my recollection of um, we, we had um, given like a certain amount of money for the group for transportation and then like a per diem toward food? We gave them $200 for the hotel for the week. For the hotel for the week. A $1,200 hotel room for the week. We give them back 200 200 bucks, okay. Now we give them $50 a day for food. I'm getting stuff to reimburse where they haven't even, I, number one, there's some I don't even understand what the child is. Yeah. But on the other hand, they're like, okay, just give me $50 a day, and they've only spent 20 I can't just give No, them. you can't. You see, and I think there's like this huge misconception. You're not making money on this. Business. No. And, and, yeah, so. Right today, if I put it all together, pay even the receipts for the alcohol on them, the receipts that were not complete, um, there were no receipts for some stuff, so I can't even reimburse if you don't give me something. Right. So you can show me that you actually ate that thing. I'm assuming you did, but without even a receipt for McDonald's, they would be right? Yeah. Okay. Now, now, if, I mean, so, so the way I would look at it is that everybody who goes, and it should only be the parents and the people that we've identified as the chaperones, right? You know, but we have to identify them as chaperones. You know, because if there's, I've been to these before where we have a certain number of chaperones that we are claiming as our own, right? And then there are other parents that show up, you know, to watch their kids, pre you know, but that's, that, and that's fine, but they're not getting reimbursed. They shouldn't be. Yeah, and so the way I would look at it is the way we do it at the state is we get a per diem as well when we go somewhere. And um, like if I handed in 
if I handed in 62, like if I get if I get $100 a day, if I handed in $62 worth of worth of um, receipts, I would only get reimbursed $62, right? So like if somebody's only handing in, like you said, they're, they're kids, so if they're just having chicken nuggets and, you know, like an English muffin for breakfast or whatever, you know, that, you know, if they only spend $28, they should only be reimbursed $28. I do have to commend one group. They actually did that. It's just pretty smart. When grocery shopping is the Oh, and smart. Costco and divided the whole bill amongst both. Oh, that's nice. That's smart. So that, I commend them. Yeah. But again, if I'm going to reimburse some people, mm -hmm. just the $7 or the $12 a day or the $25 a day instead of the $50 a day, and I'm just giving fifty dollars a day with the alcohol plan serving turkey eaters. It's there's no quality there. But it's but then the people but the people you know who like the, the kids actually eat the serving turkey. I wasn't there. I don't. Know. But it, but it, but do, are we? Offering a fifty dollar per diem just for the students, or are we also offering for the student and the chaperone? Is it just for the student? It's the student. So then, yeah, I wouldn't. How am I gonna just... Yeah, you can't. Well, you got you got alcohol on the bill, right? So well, there I must have been another adult. <laughs> yeah, <That's laughs> you know. Not really but... No, we're not. We're oh, not. Okay. You know. Yeah. But she's but she's saying that it's obvious from the bill that there's more than just the students that we're supposed to be reimbursing. Right. But how do you? How do you determine that? And I guess and more, of the, more of the reason that I bring this up is from a financial aspect, the person that's in, you know, in charge of making sure that all avenues are looked at, mm -hmm. I want to caution, is this really the way we want to continue? Could we, because could we change it to being that, I mean, it would feel like we'd run into these issues less if we, if we reimburse just for the just for the but or just for the hotel, Maybe. like uh, to increase the amount that you give for the hotel. I'm like, even like my daughter, she mm -hmm. had a fundraise. This was never brought out of the general fund. Accident. Well, we've always we've always uh, the way it was presented to me, and you know, and I'm not speaking as a parent who benefited from this. My kids didn't ever go to nationals, but the way it was, you know, these are. These are events that are are out. They're not getting out of school to go to nationals because it's over the summer, you know. And and it's um, it is something that is it is um, increasing the um, the robustness of their education by taking part in these events. Um, and we're rewarding excellence in those in those things that we that we say we value, and you know. They came for her hotel. They came for her plane ticket there. Yeah. And they had certain amount of money from their fundraising that was still left in the kitty. Mm -hmm. Either that, or if they didn't go to nationals, and that money would be what they did the it, it, it is. It is more. It is more difficult to do fundraise. It is more difficult to do fundraising when these things happen over the summer. It's not like. But you, you, know, you plan for it. Yeah, when that is true. Fundraising and you're fundraising and you're. It's just like your own home bill. You only have to take it down. I don't know. I mean, I, I still. Back to LA, and I made it to the national championship in the summer in California, and I went to Twin Valley University. They gave me my hair care, they gave me my hair salad, and I got so much for each meal. Each yeah. Day. And I had to have a receipt to get that re amount reimbursed. Right. So it was acceptable and wasn't. It yeah. The receipt to get. But if, if to, to alleviate the issue of dealing with, um, with, I mean, if if what we're looking to do is to make it a little easier to do the accounting, we could just give the reimbursement toward the hotel and just increase it, and then leave kids to eat what they want to eat. I mean, we could could. Oh, she was a student. She was a student. She was a student, so she doesn't know. Well, I mean, I, I mean, they pay for it. They pay for us to put on a musical too, and that's only benefiting a certain number of people here. You know, I mean, I, I don't. I, I think it's part of the educational process, and it is something that is available to everyone to take part, even though only a small number of people get to that point. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Can you speak a little bit about there were other national things that happened this year that they weren't able to And did did there did did anybody come to us looking for reimbursement? No, that's the problem. These are the only the only two organizations that had done it was TSA and FBI. My my understanding when I joined the board was that we were off and now Odyssey of the Mind was still around when I joined the board and I know we paid for people to go to nationals with Odyssey of the Mind or paid some. It's been a long time since we sent anybody to nationals with Odyssey of the Mind. It's been since Connie Taylor retired, I think. Is that right, Mr. Hurling? Yeah. Yeah, Odyssey of the Mind is something we don't take a part in as much. Um, so however we do this, I don't think, I'm very uncomfortable paying on out of a check and writing checks for the dollar amounts of the receipts with alcohol on it. Mm -hmm. I'm uncomfortable because I can't determine where the child is and what the adult, I think the adult came in and jacked the bills up. Yep. What happened. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And we have this from a public perspective, it doesn't I, I I understand. I'm so. So can you not separate the like I used to go and have to expense? They would just they would just leave the alcohol. It would be a separate alcohol tax. Yeah, that. that's what they should. That but yeah. but people we might just have to say you cannot hand in a bill with alcohol on it. Period, because. We, you can't. You, we're a, we're a, we're an educational organization. Right. You know. It's not that big of a deal for the wait staff to do that. No, it's not. So I have a letter from one of the parents that said that they can't have separate receipts because nobody would give it to them. Then you pay for your kid that day. The children tell you. Then you don't order a drink. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no drinks for you. <laughs> Exactly. You know, honestly, I've well, I it's it is a little I different. Like, I know it, it is okay. it is a little different because I've been you know a chaperone at some of those events. But you know, I you know, I've always felt like when I'm sitting there and I've got even there are no kids at my table with my me and my husband. There's like kids everywhere. You know, I'm like <laughs> Diet Coke, I guess. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's, it's like, and not not even because anybody can see. Yeah, not even. It's yeah, absolutely. So if we're gonna, how to address this? Yeah. It's hard to, you know. Do anything with what I have now? What am I? What am I supposed to do with what I have now? I I would say do the reimbursements for anything as long as anything as long as there's as long up to fifty dollars a day per person. For the students, but not if there's alcohol in the receipt. Right. I mean, I and I and I feel bad because I know we're we're here like trying. To, we've got a problem, and so we're kind of. It might look to somebody like we're making up rules just well, to get around the problem. The yeah, it's, it's not. Hard to, it's hard to do something after the fact. You know, it. I, it's not a. It's not a rule. I would have thought we needed to make. But, but, <laughs> correct. Know? Correct. But but you know you got to also consider that you know, you're you're an event that is. Uh, kid event yeah. that is, you know, to, to celebrate the accomplishments of your child or the, or the students or their representative community, it's probably not a good idea to be somebody who's slurping some back. Yeah, better. right. So. Yeah, and so I would say... Or maybe we should revisit this and maybe just do it for the hotel. Yeah. And specifically, don't Highlight all your charges where you did all kinds of different things with your own. Just right. That's a whole yeah. other thing. <laughs> just the room. Just the room itself. Yeah, I guess. Just the room itself. Because the room itself for the event for TSA for the week was you said it was twelve fifty-seven per child. So if we increased, oh, yeah. So if we increased this, the this the um um reimbursement for the rooms. Um, we might have gotten to maybe maybe a little less, but maybe a similar dollar amount. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. That way the receipts are out of the game. We 
we don't have to retrain the entire public work. Because I don't know where some people come from that they think that it's okay with their alcohol. Maybe that's okay with what they do. Yeah. But no, I, okay I'm not trying to make a judgment call about what somebody right. did. I'm it's trying to make a, I'm, I'm making the judgment call about like, why is that on the receipt that you gave to us? I, you know, yeah, <laughs> you I know, that's it's all. Like, and maybe it's just them that's just, that's okay yep. for them. Yep. Fine. And, and, but I think in order to alleviate <clears throat> that in the future. I agree. I think you change the language too to, to, to include up to, and up to this amount too, so it doesn't give the, uh, like you don't get the cash. Yeah, you don't get the equivalent cash oh, right, up that's front. The difference. So if you're, you know, if you get up to, let's say you're paying five hundred dollars for the hotel room, it's up to five hundred dollars. If you if you get paid five hundred dollars for room, you stay at a place for three hundred. You don't put two hundred in your pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right. Yeah, so. See, right there, it says fifty dollars a day. Am I supposed to give them fifty dollars a day, or only what they spent? Yeah. Up, yeah, right. they should, should, it's, again, it would be enough to. It's yeah. be, I think it should be what they actually spent, but we might need to change the language yeah. of some of that. Because if they want to rent movies and stuff, I mean, that well, yeah, there's that. a lot of That's stuff right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't, I, I, and I tried to call, and I couldn't even, but some of the stuff I didn't even understand, so I tried to call to find out what it was, but I couldn't even And maybe, um, I don't know if, um, if it should be Dr. Cooper or Ms. Owens might need to um, circle back with the, I would assume it's mostly the principals at the high school and the middle school. I sent the entire package back to the high school. No, no, I don't mean for this particular one. I I don't mean for this particular one. I mean going forward, like, and the other groups that might have been left out of this process in the past because they didn't ask. So we we need to kind of get our arms around how many groups like that there are, I guess, if that makes sense. But, and then decide what to yeah, do from going, going forward. forward. Yeah. Because right I don't know who's going to follow up with on that, but one of yeah, you will. Like yeah. $5,600. But like, like I'm saying, like, but figuring out how many groups we got like that, that's their job. <laughs> we'll figure that and we'll figure that out going forward. Thank you for, I wouldn't have known that that was a problem. I, well, I mean, none of us would have, or we would have been a lot more specific in the way we wrote exactly. out the. There's, there's the something yeah. you just can't, you know, predict. But yeah, so I sent them all back to. The, yep. And they're looking at them now to see what they can make heads and tails of it. Because I mean, what about the ones that don't have any detail on it at all? Am I reimbursing them, or am I not? Yeah. And did you and um, did um, did you have to give back to Miss? to Mr. Towers as well. You gave back one to Mr. Towers and one to Mr. Um, I gave the whole package to um, Aaron and then the okay. And then I did have a, and I have one for the FBLA is the one that he put the student and himself on one because the employee is more of a living person. Oh. So he paid for the student completely. Oh, okay. That's another, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. Because I, then the student didn't get the fifty dollars a day or the two hundred dollars. What ended up happening is the employee just got it because he was entitled to up to nine hundred dollars per trip for food, and between him and the student, they spent five hundred and seventy-eight dollars or six hundred dollars somewhere in that two five. So he got all of that and he reimbursed. Took it all on himself, and then he's getting it all reimbursed. Mm. So there was no limit in that respect. So. It's not, it's not, there's no equality across this whole process. No, I agree. Yeah, we'll need to fix that. That one I don't know what to do about. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, so let's first get our arms around how many other groups we got and then we'll figure out what to do. Because we don't, we want to make it easier for people to participate, especially when you get to nationals. Right. The, 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 the distance you're traveling could be significant. I get that. But, um, but you know, we need to find a way to give um, equitable um, assistance. Because I do want to try to find a way to continue to give some assistance, you know. And right now with the one trip for the CSA, it's really worth $450 a field, like $50 a day if they spend $50. Yeah, yeah. And then $200 for the hotel. So you're looking at $450 per student. Mm-hmm. All right. So maybe it's five hundred dollars off a of hotel. And then be done. And don't mess with the receipt. Just get the receipt.
Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else for any anything from the committee for finance for the good of the cause? Oh, just remember that the um, financial interesting today are always preliminary, and I get labeled them that way. Yes. June and July will be preliminary until the audit. Is right. Right. I'm getting it. But I haven't done it, so I didn't want to give you something. Yeah, like that's fine. But other than that, I can't. Okay, and then we'll have we'll have uh, that month um, next next month. You said that you, the ones you have that are preliminary that you didn't and want to do it in July, but you have them in the package. Yeah. The package is there. But everything will be finalized. Okay. The audit is fine. Oh, the audit is fine. Got it. But uh, yeah, the audit will be finalized. And that's Okay. All right. Seeing no questions from the public, um, call that good. Thank you, everybody.